Hi everyone, it's Giselle here with a message regarding cancelling out any negative thoughts but the way I find it most effective because um, I've been speaking to a few people and one lady in particular said that she'd been reading a book on cancelling out negative thoughts but the technique that she was taught I thought was rather aggressive it was um, asking her to stamp on the floor and say the words damn it <laughs> whenever she um, encountered any negative thoughts and that uh, apparently <clears throat> sorry was supposed to cancel it out but I just I, I don't like the aggressiveness of the technique because I feel that if you attach such an angry emotion um, to you wanting to cancel out those thoughts then I, I don't really see that that's the most effective way of doing things because the negativity that you associate and that you in turn attach to it magnifies the fact that it is so negative and I feel that the best way for it to then not register as such an aggressive emotion within you would be to just um, come from a place of neutrality and this is what I tend to say a lot with regards to um, you know, any sort of negative emotion is don't allow yourself to dwell or to indulge in that negative aspect. If you can, bring yourself to a point where it just doesn't bother you anymore. And I feel that that's the most effective way of, of effectively getting rid of that and cancelling it out without attaching such a violent or aggressive emotion and therefore behavior to the acts i find it just you know whenever anything because you know as, as much as you try to remain in a positive state or think of things in a very positive way sometimes um negative thoughts do pop in just very unexpectedly but rather than getting really aggressive and, and balling up your fists and, and, and shouting the words damn it <laughs> i i would prefer to just um Calm down, take a few deep breaths and then see that thought. But then also imagine a stamp with the words cancel on it and just stamp it with the word cancel, but not aggressively at all. And therefore it's just cancelled off. And through remaining calm, I find that a lot more effective and a lot more easily dealt with. And then if anything does pop up in the future, because you're not attaching such a negativity to it, it doesn't have that immense hold over you either. And it allows it to be cleansed and cleared a lot more swiftly without much drama or attachment to it. So give it a go. See how you get on. Um, I thought I would just give that quick little tip because a lot of people have started bringing up their own techniques of getting rid. But I thought that this one particular technique was just so aggressive and I just I every time I, I sort of hear her saying it it just I don't know it makes me laugh not because I'm laughing at the woman but just because of the fact that just imagine when you're walking around town something negative comes up but then you're stamping on the floor and aggressively even you know even muttering under your breath the words damn it it's just, just I don't know it just looks very very hostile and uh, yeah it just conjures up very negative imagery and it attaches that to that thought. And it's best to just ignore and, and stay calm, I feel, has worked the best for me because then it doesn't bring up other negative feelings such as anxiety or nervousness or fear. or it Because if you attach more negativity to it, I just feel it attaches more fear and more doubt and offers, you know, more of those emotions up. So yeah, um, give it a go, see how you get on. But I thought that this was a rather important message to bring out today. And uh, thank you so much for listening. Namaste.